Hey guys, our group is doing a map projection and map distortion, so let's get straight to it. What is a map projection? Well, it's drawing an earth on a 2D flat surface, such as a paper. Um, now, there are obviously some advantages and disadvantages to that. Um, the main advantage is portable, is it's portable since it's on paper and it's easy to use since it's all in front of you and it's very viewable. Whereas the disadvantage is distortion. Now, what is distortion? It's the change in shape, size or position in a map. Um, well, a lot of people get put off because of distortion and it occurs for one, re one main reason, which is you try, just try to smash a ball onto a 2D surface. It's not going to work. So when you're trying to, it's similar when you're trying to draw it. You can't exactly get it perfect. However, some maps are useful for different purposes. For example, the Eckert 4 is very useful for showing correct sizes. However, it has a disadvantage of a lot of, of a lot of shape distortion near the poles. The Goods Homolosin is a really good map for um, position and shape. However, it kind of is weird in the ocean distortion since it completely distorts all oceans. And the Mercator is a good medium between those two, however, it's not perfect. Now, what are the solutions? Well, there are a lot of solutions, however, one of them was the globe. But it's not as easy to use a globe as there is a map. Now, we'll show you some different maps and what they're useful for. The most famous maps, what they, um, what they distort, what they're helpful for, how the geographers use them, etc. So continue watching. Hello everyone, welcome. Today I will be teaching you guys about the lambert amethal equation and other map projections and their distortions. The lambert amethal equation area projection is a map that uh, puts the continents in roughly the exact shape. Uh, but it heavily distorts uh, areas or continents on the edge, as you can see, for example, South America compared to North America. As you can see, North America is roughly the shape that you would find it in, while South America is completely off. Same goes with Africa and Asia. And over here is Oceania. Now, this map is different from the other maps because as you get closer to the poles, it, it it's more accurate when you go closer to the poles rather than when you separate. Uh, in And now uh, I will be stopping the recording right here and I will be continuing. Hello everyone, welcome back. And now I will be teaching about the Mercator projection. This projection heavily distorts shapes and sizes. For example, Greenland. As you can see, Greenland is bigger than the US, almost half the size of Africa, and definitely bigger than Australia. What this map also distorts is that as you go from the equator and farther down, let's say to the South Pole, it increases shape. As you can see, by Antarctica is, not, is definitely not this big. It's definitely not as big as Asia and America combined. Now, this map is one of the most commonly used maps. You can find this map almost anywhere, even in your classroom, if you look hard enough. Now, this map uh, is usually used around the equator line. As you can see, it represents the equator more accurately. Next, I will be talking about another map. Hello and welcome to this video about the goods, homolos, and projections. I'll be taking it over from my friend Nick. Um, now we're looking at this map and as you can probably see it's not a proper shape, it's a very awkwardly shape. But this is for one reason, to uh, see the correct shape and position of each and every continent or landmass on uh, planet Earth. Um, one main disadvantage to this shape however is that it severely distorts uh, oceans and seas and most water bodies. Um, another thing which you might notice is that some of the places are kind of like cut so it is a bit distorted however it is one of the clearest um, maps if you want to look at um, the, the position of countries, uh, continents and shape of the continents. Um, that's about it about this map. It's a very simple map as you can see. Thank you.
Um, hello and welcome to this video about the Eckert 4 projection. Um, this projection is a fairly basic pro projection with almost no size distortion. Um, as you can see this looks just like the, a normal world map. Um, it has zero size distortion like I just said, uh, but it distorts shape at um, near the poles. Now this is what geographers like to call shape distortion. Uh, most people use this map to show um, the po average population of an area. Uh, however, this can be used for many other causes. Um, this is, however, surprisingly not the most common map, um, but it comes in a close second from the Mercator. Uh, that's about it. Thank you for watching.